Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Sutu and I wanted to share with you guys a new hairstyle that I would like to say I invented or I came up with in the efforts to figure out how to blend my leave out with this U part wig that I have. And I posted it on TikTok and it did fairly well on TikTok so I wanted to come and share on YouTube a little bit more instructions and explanation. So this is my braided leave out on top of a U part wig. So my hair is about collarbone length, it's a little short, I cut it a little while ago. It just takes a little long to grow back and I have this wig that I got on sale. It's a Jerry Carroll 22 inch U part wig. I cut a little bit of layers into it, but I wasn't able to blend my hair so I thought why don't I just braid the leave out. I want it to go for that bohemian Zoe Kravitz type of look and it came out, my rough draft came out okay. So when I redid it again, I got a little help from my mom, so if you guys are trying to do this, it would be nice to get some help unless you are an experienced braider or you just know how to braid hair. Frankly, I do not. I can do a little something something here and there, but not much when it comes to braiding. With just your regular braid down, and I'm going to show you guys in a second. You're going to start with a regular braid down like you would for a U-part wig or like a sew-in. But you're going to leave exponentially more hair out than you would for for like a sew in, so I said a sew in, a sew in. I did a middle part just because I thought it would be a little bit difficult trying to do a side part. That's what I attempted the first time and it just wasn't looking right. And so this is just you part wig. It has the combs on the side. Thank goodness it's not the clips, which hurt. And this, I don't feel anything. It's very lightweight. It doesn't hurt. I can wear it all day and two combs on the side. I just stick it in there and then I have my my two anchor braids on the side. The whole point of this hairstyle is to be low effort. It's a very, very low effort hairstyle that is gonna come in handy in the summer times and in you know, vacation, summer hairstyle. If you get your wig wet, you can just hang it up in the bathroom, let it dry and just have your hair out. You guys, how I feed in some of the braids. Now there's two ways that you could possibly do this. These are all the braids I have. And the key to getting this style um, done correctly is first, without ample amount of hair, because the braids are gonna be micro braids and you know, micro braids significantly reduce like the area of the hair that you left out. And because you, you want the track to cover it, there is still a little bit of track showing on mine, but as for now, I'm not minding because I just, this was my second attempt. I'm doing this hairstyle. So the pieces. Now, where do you get the pieces from? I ended up having to get an extra bundle from Amazon of 16 inches so I don't have to cut out pieces from the wig and give the wig bald spots. So this was about $20, $23, $22. Um, they sell the ones without the weft. Um, but I just got this because it was a little bit cheaper. So what you can do is cut it from the bundle. And I only used like half the bundle so far for uh, for just these braids. So you're going to have enough to redo, fix if some fall out, etc, etc. So I have my front piece as an example. This one's actually like the hardest one. And it takes a little while to get a hang of it, especially if you're not used to braiding. So you would split this in half, or even in thirds, but you don't need that much. You don't want it bulky. And just make sure you like feather out the, so you're not having like chunks poking out. <laughs> so I'm gonna braid my hair. Use like gel or edge control if you would like, but I'm just not gonna bother with this. Um, and it helps your scalp not to be as itchy. you can see there it is you just need to do about two to three rows on each side of that like I said make sure you leave ample hair out 
and you can style as desired. I just have this conditioner water mix and this continuous spray bottle I got from Walmart and also this Tresemme Flawless Curls that I also got from Walmart just to kind of give it that wet look or style it. And you can style it with the wig off or with the wig on. I've already had this wig on all day, so style. So this is a great way of low manipulation to your hair if you want to wear you part wig. You can probably even do this with like a body wave or a loose wave texture. But this is the wig I had. This is the idea that I came up with. And you can still treat your hair and condition your hair and oil your scalp underneath. Unlike a traditional sewing that might like build up gunk and then you can wash your hair with your cornrows in and put it back on. So I love this because it's low maintenance. I don't have to fry my leave out or put copious amounts of gel on my leave out in order for it to blend because I have 4C, 4D hair. It's not blending with the Jerry Carroll wick. Just, it's just not going to happen, especially if it's short. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you try out this hairstyle and tell me what you think down in the comments below.